Hello everyone. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Nanda Kumar from uh, Rajamundry Medical College, Chidambaram, who secured rank 281 in the recent INSET examination. First of all, hearty congratulations to you and all your family members uh, on this uh, occasion, uh, Nanda, from the Idea Plus team. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's an amazing feeling, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, me is happy now. Okay, uh, Nanda, like, can you br briefly tell your background, like? When did you when is when did your internship completed and when how was your preparation? Uh, how many months you took it? As uh, I'm uh, from uh, 2016 batch from Raja Mutia Medical College, Chidambaram. Uh, so I completed my internship by uh, May end. So I started uh, the actual preparation by June one. But uh, even during my internship period, uh, like I was uh, doing some kind of stuff, but not uh, uh, the intense preparation. I didn't uh, start anything. Uh, I was just uh, keeping myself brushed up with the topics. And uh, during my uh, UG days, uh, I used to attend quizzes. But uh, yeah, I was doing reasonably good, but not uh, very exceptionally. Uh, I was not like a college topper or any medalist or something like that. Uh, I was just, I, I was doing okay. Uh, and uh, I used to attend the quizzes. So my seniors were there and they were guiding me. And uh, the main thing they said, like, uh, you should attend more quizzes. Uh, so those, uh, the knowledge you gain during that time uh, that will stay with you. So yeah, that was uh, really true. And uh, I also advised my juniors to do that. And uh, the serious preparation, I started at tips by, uh, from uh, June. So I found the ADR and uh, it's been around five months. So I never really uh, targeted INISET uh, before uh, internship period. I, even didn't think about that. Uh, my aim was like to do well in the NEET and uh, to get somewhere like in Chennai, a uh, good college, a uh, good MDC. That was uh, the main aim. But uh, after starting my preparation uh, in ADR, they kept pushing me like uh, the management part, uh, Mr. Uh, Shankar. Uh, yeah, uh, he also he, uh, used to call me uh, regularly and frequently and he used to inquire me about my preparations and uh, that was a real boost to me uh, going forward. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Uh, and the, like all the team members, like we are saying, like um, few uh, categories of people to so that like they can coordinate with these things. And obviously, we're very happy that ADR Plex has played a crucial role in your success and make your uh, dream come true. And yes, sir, uh, sir. so, how many hours on an average you studied during this period? Uh, initially, like uh, till September, I was doing like uh, I, the, I used to come to the classes, so the time was very limited. So around uh, two to three hours a day, I will usually uh, clock it. And from September onwards, I started pushing. Uh, from the last sixty days, I used to study around uh, ten to twelve hours uh, at a stretch. Yeah, but yeah, of course, the breaks were uh, crucial and uh, the routine part. Uh, I kept it like uh, need to sit there for uh, 12 hours to make a uh, uh, thing to come to success. Fantastic. Number. So what is your proper study plan? Like uh, usually how many hours you get to read uh, notes and how many hours you use it to do the questions and like how you plan your structured day? Yes. So uh, my concepts, uh, I think I was uh, okay with my concepts. So till September, I was uh, building slowly on my concept and reading more notes. Uh, from September onwards, I did only questions. Uh, and also my way of uh, preparation, it was more episode. Uh, I didn't have like a structured plan. Uh, many of the seniors would say like, uh, you need to complete anatomy by three days, uh, physiology by two days, and uh, do another uh, revision. So uh, I will just start by uh, eight or some, uh, yeah, by eight o'clock in the morning and I will do uh, difficult subject like uh, for me it was biochem and uh, community medicine uh, of course anesthesia uh, the later part after your classes it became relatively easy and I never went back again but uh, in the initial phases uh, I would do these subjects uh, at the morning and uh, after some time when uh, I get a bit bored I will go back to my uh, stronger ones like uh, pediatrics physiology and I uh, will be doing them. So again, I'll be coming back switching. So like I didn't have a proper study plan and uh, to say like that. But okay. uh, but whatever time uh, is available, you utilize it at the maximum. Like ah uh, yes sir yes sir. So fantastic. So there will be many there might be many factors which might have contributed to your success. But if I ask you to pick three most important factors, like what will you become? 
uh the confidence uh, if this is going to be a single most factor i will say the confidence uh because i will, uh, i strongly believed like i would be cracking and i will be getting rank 1 uh the initial part i didn't have that but after joining adr and the quiz uh, the leader board daily quizzes uh, i used to get uh, rank 1 or 2 so that uh, grew up a confidence in me like i can do it so yeah uh, that was a very crucial part uh, yeah and uh, the second part is uh, doing questions so yeah uh, initial parts i was doing uh, only the adr questions uh, that is uh, the leader board questions alone till september and from september onwards i started doing uh, many platform uh, i used the adr because uh, one thing i didn't want uh, questions to get monotonous like uh, uh from a single platform it was getting monotonous to me so i picked up many platforms and i was doing more questions so the initially i was doing around uh, uh 30 to 40 questions and uh, in the later part uh, from september onwards uh, 200 300 questions and in the last 30 days i was uh, pushing at around uh, around 600 on a really good day i was doing 700 questions also 700 questions a day yes sir because i had very limited time so yeah. uh, only i had to push hard to have a real chance, stand a chance at this exam so fantastic like 700 questions a day even assuming you spent like um, 45 minutes on uh, 45 seconds on every question like uh, still like you need like good focus for 9 to 10 hours of time like that's uh, pretty good yes like, yes uh, so hard so work is starting day. around uh, the last month i was starting around 7 or 6:30 and it went till and uh, 10 or 10:30 max so uh, yeah before that i was having some routine like i used to go to gym and uh, doing uh, stuff like that uh, to keep myself entertained but uh, <coughs> the end i was sitting and uh, last one month it was pretty crucial and fantastic like we really appreciate uh, third important point i feel uh, you need to keep yourself more entertained and have something uh, you need to do something related to academics but it shouldn't again get monotonous so i was having a discussion partner uh, ten mugil my friend from my batch so she too got uh, 601 rank in this exam okay. we both used to discuss uh, through the calls and uh, yeah that was very helpful uh, to have a discussion partner because uh, doing alone it can get very tedious the process and uh, uh, it can become very taxing uh, because it can uh, the too boring process this is uh, so yeah, it's a marathon like basically you have to take it like every single yeah. day and do that yes sir so, and i also had a whatsapp group i created it and i had a few friends from my area so we used to uh, post the questions uh, we studied uh, difficult points and mnemonics so that too was very helpful sir so this day i would uh, name it as uh, very crucial but if you ask one single most uh, factor it i would uh, on any day say uh, confidence sir, because with confidence you can do anything on any yeah, exactly absolutely like confidence you played it plays a phenomenal role and uh, we are happy that uh, the this your confidence is built day by day and it's compounded by attending the leader boards daily and it's been confident when you mentioned about the leader boards of adr like which helped in compounding your confidence like and eventually helping you get the rank how do you find this leader boards useful and what is the most important thing that you liked in this leader boards uh, the competitive nature in itself sir uh, because uh, every day uh, the rank would be posted so uh, to get your name in the top and uh, it was uh, slowly getting into an addiction thing uh, exactly to see our name uh, coming in the top it was really a dopamine rush so yeah <laughs> uh, if you are going to set the standard initially uh, it will again uh, keep pushing you till the end i think So fantastic and uh, leaderboard. Um, so you used to follow like I mean we have been seeing that you have been a consistent topper in the leaderboard, driving for that and attending on top. Like uh, congratulations! And the beauty of this leaderboard seat is not just about answering it right, but answering in the fastest pos- time possible, yes, yes, yes. selecting yes, the right clue actually. Okay, that like we are very happy that uh, we played a crucial role in this. And during your preparation, did you ever doubt your ability that you will be succeeding or not? yeah of course uh, like uh, if we are going to get a lower rank in leaderboard it is uh, will be having a doubt but uh, that is again uh, comes as a motivation to go come up uh, really good the next day and uh, do it uh, in a better way fantastic and uh, which were uh, there uh, yeah tell me Yeah, oh, fine, sir. We'll go to that. Did you face the problem of uh, volatile memory that you are not able to remember and all? Like, if so, like, how did you deal with this? Uh, the conceptual parts, I was good, I think. 
so i didn't have to go back again and uh, read them uh, but uh, the volatile subjects like community medicine and uh, biochem i had uh, 3 to 4 uh, revisions uh, so yeah uh, and the general path uh, part and uh, the farm part i had to revise uh, repeatedly uh, but apart from that i was uh, okay with the single or two revisions with other subjects sir fantastic so what is your advice to the future aspirants your juniors from your college and uh, and also like all other who is going to look to see this interview hmm, uh, yeah of course everyone can do if i am going to uh, vigna vishal from rajamuthiya medical college uh, with four months of preparation can get a 281 in innocent of course anyone can do it so yeah i'll ask them to put the belief in themselves and uh, keep working hard and uh, if you are going to get the results the happiness it's going to be really good uh, i have felt that and i will ask uh, all my juniors and i hope and pray god uh, everyone uh, experiences this fantastic like and again like uh, everyone that's a hard work though it seems like it's um, hazard free but you spent a good 600 to 700 questions i had uh, see till date like i had uh, interviewed hundreds of students but like this is the first time i'm getting like 700 students 700 questions a day is phenomenal like uh, i mean considering 45 seconds like even like uh, that's what like doing a question and getting the uh, I mean, analyzing the answer and getting it done—it's phenomenal. Like, uh, it's hard stuff to you, uh, Vishal. Yes, sir. Uh, because I will say, like, uh, uh, if you are going to do repeatedly uh, the questions, you will be very confident in uh, ruling out three options, uh, at yes. least options for that, and will will come to fifty-fifty. So even if you are not very good in the concepts, uh, uh, getting it to fifty-fifty and uh, striking the right answer, you have a better possibility. So yeah, I, uh, I think I mastered the skill of ruling out uh, with the help Absolutely. of questions. Yeah. and i also feel like uh, people shouldn't uh, always target on 200 questions so if it is going to be inset uh, i was uh, like very clear like i asked all my seniors and uh, i was clear like i should uh, get 150 right uh, so even if i was actually uh, the initial 10 questions for me it was pretty tough uh, the 10 or 15 questions i was able to get only 3 uh, 3 uh, were known to me so yeah I, but i just uh, kept uh, telling me like Uh, easier questions will come forward and uh, yeah so on the exam day it was very important uh, uh, yes to maintain the calm and composure and uh, keep to going calm and composure way. yes uh, rather than to go for 180 or 190 i was uh, confident like if i am going to get uh, 150 right i will be able to yeah if you remember that's what exactly i told like two days before we were uh, two days before the examination when we connected over the live said like even if you get like 140 to 150 correct like you can still be on the top 10 ranks and uh, that is what only to uh, stress me okay yes. and, yeah of course the pep stock uh, by given by you and uh, arun sir uh, it was uh, always uh, very motivational and uh, kept us pushing forward thank you vishal like we are we are so happy that like uh, some other way we are playing a crucial role in your success of course the one thing about arr i feel uh, i had the connect like uh, i don't know about other institutes but uh, they kept tracking me and uh, i was getting calls from my arr and they were saying how was the preparation so that part uh, of course it kept me pushing uh, like uh, what to say uh, or needing to do uh, return in something for them uh, the factor was always there yeah so, yeah i'm happy i'm uh, i was, i'm able to contribute with this rank you no know, we are also like super happy that uh, i mean it's been reciprocated well like i mean we as a teachers like we'll be uh, the happiest day for us is like when the students succeed and like they're going they're growing in the career and like uh, thanks for that vishal uh, and can you please share your views about area nexus Hey, places, yes, as I mentioned already, uh, ADR has been a very crucial factor in secure, uh, get me getting this rank. And uh, yeah, that uh, this thing was very uh, crucial and uh, unique. I felt uh, like they kept tracking me, and I was getting calls regularly. Uh, no one uh, <laughs> kept asking me of how the preparation was, and so the regular calls, like uh, I will be getting it around uh, uh, every fifteen days. I will be getting a call from them. and uh, yeah so the expectation uh, it didn't bear me down and uh, i took it in a good way and i wanted to do something so yeah i'm happy i was able to do at least uh, that that's fantastic uh, vishal and 
So how would this mock examinations of ADR like how do you find it in this field? Uh, initially, I found it uh, like uh, the questions were pit, uh, pretty vague and uh, something like that. Uh, I used to call the support team and ask uh, how and what uh, like the question pattern uh, because of previous questions it was uh, somewhat different uh, and uh, the ADR mock was uh, somewhat different. But uh, I kept doing them and in the final exam I found like most of the question pattern was similar to what I did in the ADR mock. Yeah. So in that way, I'm really happy. Like, uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, it wasn't taken as a shock. Uh, the final exam pattern. Exactly. If you see, the marks are designed in such a way that tests your patience, that tests your knowledge, that tests your endurance. Basically, it's not just about answering the question. When, if you see, we we take uh, a lot of precautions in spacing the questions. Also, like usually, when two, two, three tough questions comes, like how do you the student um, the react and all, we we do a lot of in. Well, well, preparing the question paper, it's not just the questions. Uh, it's all about like inculcating uh, the capability of enduring uh, endurance and all we do that. That's good. That. And uh, once again, hearty congratulations, Vishal. And uh, thanks a lot for sharing your views so that like uh, many of the students are going to get benefited uh, from this. And we wish you all the very best and in all your future endeavors. And uh, we're happy to be um, again to be a part of ADR Plexus. Sure, sir. It's a pleasure uh, being with area and the journey was really uh, came as a fruitful one for me. And I uh, also I mean, congratulate the other toppers and uh, uh, wish the best wishes to those who are appearing for 2023. Fantastic. So nice of you, Vishal. Okay. All the very best and thank you.